In today's video, we're going to be taking our first look at the new S24 series from Samsung. So we have three dummies right here. We've got the S24, the S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. Now these dummies are usually sent to case manufacturers so they can make sure that the cases fit the devices before they come out. That means they should be pretty identical to what the actual devices look like. Starting off with the S24 Ultra, some of you might be happy to hear that the screen is now completely flat. This is compared to what Samsung have done in many years previously, where they sort of droop the screen over the edge. Now, Samsung have been sort of slowly removing the curves from some of their phones. In fact, the S23 and S23 Plus last year didn't actually have a curved screen. But it's nice to see that they've also brought this forward to the Ultra. That should also mean that screen protectors fit a lot nicer to this phone. It should also mean that cases for this phone can also bring the bumpers right up to the edge, which should give them more protection as well. Now, the only other thing that I can slightly see that's changed on the S24 Ultra is the back of the phone is also completely flat, probably just to mimic the flat screen on the front. Now, taking a look at our S24 and S24 Plus dummies, we can only see one real change which is that the sides of the phone are now completely flat. This makes them feel very iPhone-like. And if you know what they feel like, you either love it or you're not that fussed. Now, a few of the other rumors that we should talk about are that all the phones should come in black, gray, violet, and also yellow. The Ultra model will have a titanium frame, which will also mimic what Apple have done this year for the iPhone Pro and Pro Max. Then. The S24 and S24 Plus will just have aluminium frames, which I think they had previously as well. Now, comparing these devices to what we had last year, honestly, there's not a whole lot's changed. I do think the only real change is going to be that flat display on the S24 Ultra compared to with the curved display that we had last year. Other than that, you can see that the camera placements and the buttons are all pretty much in the exact same place. Now, talking about the cameras, the S24 Ultra will actually have one change this year. That telephoto camera is actually going to change to a 50 megapixel. This means if you take a lot of photos past that 5x optical zoom, your photo should be a lot cleaner. Now, a few other changes to this lineup include a bigger battery for the S24, which increases from 3,900 milliamp hours to 4,000 milliamp hours. The S24 Plus goes from 4,700 milliamp hours to 4,900, whereas the Ultra stays at the same 5,000 that it has since the S22. However, thankfully, the Ultra does get some other changes that the other two don't get. For a start, it will be the only phone that has their ultra wideband chip in. This should make it a little bit easier to find if you use things like the Smart Tag 2. Now, all of these phones will actually be slightly better for gaming as well. That's because the vapor chamber is actually bigger in all three models. For the S24, it goes 1.5 times bigger than previously. The S24 Plus is 1.6 times, and then the Ultra gets a massive 1.9 times bigger. Now, the S23 Ultra was no slouch when it came to gaming. So hopefully this means you can actually sustain gaming for a little bit longer and probably get more battery life out of it as well. Now, the other thing that's going to make these phones amazing for gaming is going to be that Gen 3 Snapdragon processor. However, that will only be the case for all countries for the S24 Ultra. The S24 and S24 Plus will get Samsung's Exynos chip in some countries. Now, by far the biggest thing that we expect from this announcement in January is going to be a lot of AI stuff. Now, since the release of the S23 lineup, we've had a lot of different AI software come out. Things like ChatGPT has definitely kicked off. And if you remember back to Google's announcement for the Pixel 8, we had a lot of AI stuff in there as well. Now, Snapdragon this year have focused a lot of their efforts in AI performance, making the Gen 3 chip a lot faster than previous years. This will enable the S24 lineup to do a lot of AI powered things, similar to what we saw with the Pixel 8 this year. We're rumored to have things like AI wallpapers. It will also enable things like in-app text translation, real-time voice translate on calls and text as well. And it will also help improve the zoom function that we mentioned earlier. Another thing that's been rumored is voice focusing. This will be particularly good for videos. And again, it's something that we saw with Google this year. Now we do have someone with an S23 Ultra in the office. This already works really well on that phone. So it will be interesting to see what sort of improvement is here. Now, I'm personally really excited to see what these phones have to offer 
when they release in February. So if you want to see my opinions on them, make sure you subscribe and like this video as well.